All right, this is SED prep. We're doing test three, section three, and this is number 13. So you're given a rational expression equal to negative 8x minus 3 minus a 53 over the same denominator that occurs in the first rational expression, okay? And essentially, you're told that this statement is true for all values uh, such that x is not 2 over a, which is the value of x that would make the denominator 0, where a is a constant, what is the value of a? So looking at this, my first thought was, oh, hey, I could try and do the division that's listed on the left-hand side. And then I realized this is like a terrible idea. That's just a really bad idea. The smarter idea is since I already have the same denominator here, I'm going to get a common denominator, and I'm going to recognize that the two numerators have to be the same. So on the left-hand side, I have a numerator of 24x squared plus 25x minus 47. And I know that since the denominators are now just going to be this ax minus 2, that when I FOIL out this denominator, they have to be, uh, sorry, this numerator rather, they have to be equal, the two numerators, so minus a 53. So I'm going to FOIL this out, and I'm going to clean it up, and I'm going to find the terms that are equal here. So when I FOIL this, I get that this is a negative 8ax squared, right, that's first. Outer is going to be a minus, uh, sorry, a plus 16x, right. Inner is going to be minus a 3ax. Last is going to be a plus 6, and then don't forget the minus 53. So I seem to get that this is a negative 8ax squared uh, plus 16x minus 3ax uh, minus a 47. I want to show you what we have here. 24x squared plus 25x minus 47. Okay, so here's what I've got. Negative 47 is a negative 47. Great. Okay. The x squared terms have to be the same. So the 24x squared has to be a negative 8ax. So 24 is negative 8a. That seems to confirm to me that my a is a negative 3. So I'm pretty sure it's b. If you want to double check, if you're nervous that's wrong, 25 has to be the same as this middle term, the x term, right? So 25 has to equal 16 minus 3a. And you could confirm by solving that you also get the same value here. If I move the 16 over, I get 9 is negative 3a, and sure enough, it confirms that negative 3 is my a. So answer B, uh, and that's it. There is really no good short way to do this. Like, this is, this is not pretty. There's no, there's no short way to do this problem. This is a difficult problem. Plugging in is not going to make your life a lot better. Um, but that's, that's it. So this was a pretty tricky one.